Hello everyone, this is Yoon again. Uh, so last time I talked about my action cam and putting it on to the gimbal so that I can get an extra smooth footage. Uh, although the motor is still showing up, I need to still adjust to the more to the left so that I don't have to see that. But uh, today I'm also gonna show you the camera technique that many people don't use it and I haven't seen any, any YouTube tutorial that actually introduces a major uh, camera channels. So the t today's technique that I'm attempting to recreate is called a uh, dolly shot, dolly zoom shot, or AKS vertical shot because it that's the movie name that I think it's first used such technique. The vertical shot is a camera technique where you keep the size of the sub main subject consistent while you're changing the focal length of your lens uh, using a zoom lens and that involves moving a consistent velocity back and forth from your subject while you're turning your zoom in and out and keep the focus at point so you need at least three camera operator in order to do that you need a rail to put the dolly on it and two you need a dolly which is huge investment and time and money so example of a vertical shot can be seen on uh, movie jaws the movie vertigo so it creates a weary feeling uh, where your background shrink and expand while your subject it stays the same. So it can be a very cool shot to look at but a lot of movies don't use it these days. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's outdated. So at home, my, like myself, one man band, uh, can use it two ways to recreate such shots. So one is using a digital zoom with high resolution camera uh, which is like my X-T3 or even your ordinary cell phone uh, you can shoot 4k my cell phone can shoot 4k a lot of cell phones do these days you can shoot in 4k and in software you can do digital, digital zoom and out using after effect and that way you can kind of recreate the effect of it but you lose the quality because you're zooming but i don't really want to degrade my shots so i'm going to attempt to use my gimbal and then the focus pulling motor here's how i'm going to do so first i put my camera on a gimbal and put the focus pulling motor but instead of using as a focus pulling uh, i put it on the zoom range zoom wing of the lens so i can uh, pull the zoom instead of focusing while the camera will do autofocus so that's enough chit chat and let me go outside and then show you how it's done so for this one i just use a gimbal to stabilize the shot but not using a zoom so later i just use a premiere pro to give the effect of the vertigo So as you can see later on, you, it has a lot of isolation and you can't really use this. Now this is the exact same shot using the motor. So I'm back in my studio and upon reviewing my footage, I noticed a lot of mistakes that I did. Uh, first thing is that I forgot to turn off the auto ISO. So there's a lot of flickering, changing exposure as I'm zooming in and out. And two, uh, there's a lot of shakiness and inconsistent uh, zooming because the uh, the knob on the gimbal is actually pretty difficult. It's so it's tiny and I wish I can have um, uh, next time I think I'm gonna 3D print the NOS adapter so that I can have better throw and a walking speed is inconsistent than I imagine it to be because uh, it's my body I thought I was just 
walking consistent speed but there's like moving part stopping part moving part stuff because like you have two legs you know what i mean so i think next time i'm i wanted to use i want to use my skateboard instead uh, instead of walking so i have more consistent speed and i can control better movement overall uh that being said the i when i try to recreate this shot to be more perfect the weather is here yeah it's a hella windy and earlier this today uh there was even snow uh it's canadian weather it's i can't really do anything about it uh, so next time i'm gonna do try all the, all stuff all the stuff that i learned today uh, but also I noticed like very important part that these uh, vertical shots are uh, more forgiving to uh, organic shapes such as my dog or uh, the plant that I shot. Uh, these two are the best shot that, that I got it so far. Uh, and also with the leading line, uh, it works really, really well. Uh, the dog shot is a perfect example, I guess. And that's for now. I hope people use this shot more vertical shot i don't know why why this became a lost art in cinema um, i really like it i i'm guessing that because people are using computer graphics more to create the mysteriousness of the environment that actors are in instead of using techniques of the camera so that's it for today thanks for watching and i hope it was interesting uh, see you next time bye